time for another Gillette Trade and Free Agency Update. Matt Thompson alongside Mark McGugan today. And Mark, a bit of a surprise, Ben McAvoy going to the Hawks. Shane Savage gets to the Saints. Certainly was a bit of a surprise, Matty. I think everyone expecting that Billy Longer would become the Hawks' new ruckman to replace Max Bailey, but they've sprung a big surprise here recruiting Ben McAvoy. To be honest, I think it's a bit of a win-win, this trade. Uh, the Hawks, as we know, needed a ruckman. They've got a very good one, and he's only 24 years old, so he'll be their first ruckman for a number of years to come. The Saints criticised for offloading him, but let's remember, they've got Shane Savage, who's more than handy a player. He'll be in their best 22 next season. And the number 17 draft pick has produced some very good players in recent years. Isaac Smith, Luke Shuey, Nat Fife uh, from around that range. So I think the Saints can be happy that they've said they've started to uh, rebuild for the future and they can start to do that with this trade. And also some speculation that the Hawks and Saints might swap picks perhaps later in the trade period once the Buddy Franklin compensation comes through. That's just something that's been speculated about. But we spoke today to Graham Wright. He's the man who pulled off this coup from a Hawks perspective. Let's hear what he had to say. Now this came along pretty quickly. Obviously, he's con he well, he was contracted with St Kilda for another two years, so he certainly wasn't on our radar until the last uh, probably 36 hours. Um, we brought it up in discussions with uh, around Sa Shane Savage. Sorry, so um, from that point of view, it's been pretty quick. Uh, we were a little bit surprised, obviously, but from that point of view, they were really keen on Shane Savage and, and the first round pick, which is pick 17. I mean, it doesn't have a name against it now, but it's a it's a really valuable pick, and I'm sure it'll be a good player at that uh, around that area. Most of the talk was about Billy Longer during the week. Where does yeah. that leave him and, and are you still chasing him? Yeah, we're still keen to, to get Billy in. Uh, as we were when we were looking at Shane Mumford, we were still talking about Billy then. And uh, listen, we'd like to be able to get Billy in. We'll just see how the next week or two plays out. Now, Graham Wright was speaking about it there, Mark. Billy Longer, what do you think? Why would he still want to go to the Hawks now in terms of getting opportunity? Yeah, that's a big question, Matty. No doubt part of the reason he wants to leave the Lions is because he hasn't been able to get senior opportunities with Matthew Lewenberger in front of him. So if he now comes to the Hawks, he won't be the immediate number one ruckman. McAvoy will take that spot. I guess the argument the Hawks will put to him, though, is that David Hale probably doesn't have a whole lot of years left in the game. He's around the 29, 30-year-old mark. Uh, he, he'll probably play on next season, but beyond that, you'd think a spot would open up. So you never know, though. The Saints are now probably looking for a ruckman to support Tom Hickey, so maybe he comes into the play there. Now, the other deal that is continuing to make news also involves St Kilda, and that's the negotiations between the Saints and North Melbourne over Nick Del Santo. We said earlier in the week that things have become a little bit frustrated for both parties, and that seems to still be the case. Yeah, it does. No, no movement there. It seems like they're stuck and reports that the Saints have put a deadline on this trade getting done. I'm not sure that's quite right, but they don't want to see it dragging out. I think they're frustrated by North's refusal to budge in their position, and there's probably a little bit of that coming back the other way from the Kangaroos. So uh, given the trade the Saints have made today, I get the sense Nick Del Santo, with the rebuild really signalled, would probably be keen to get out and get to North Melbourne. So let's hope it can get done. All right, there is a lot of trade news that we are following for you here on afl.com.au. Of course, we have Gillette Trade Radio. We have the live blog every day. So keep clicking back for more.